Good morning, Team Monk. It's Monk. And uh, today's a special day. This morning, I just broke, it's around 5.45 in the morning, and I just broke my final camp. And we are now hiking the uh, final three miles of the 100 mile wilderness. And it's just 10 miles after that to Katahdin Stream Campground. So today will mark the end of all of the hiking with the exception of the last climb, Mount Katahdin, which will be on Sunday. And uh, my trail boss will be joining me. Uh, and I'm really excited because uh, two of our daughters, Grace and Allie, will be joining us. Uh, our daughter Taylor, unfortunately, has, has a bridal commitment, so completely understand that she can't make it, but we'll miss her a lot. And my sister Ellie, uh, who's a former Outward Bound instructor, so we got some experience on the trail with uh, her daughter Riley. Uh, so we've got quite a little contingent going to be climbing Katahdin, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, so, uh, actually, I got to pay attention here. So if you notice, see the rocks and the and the dirt and so forth. So that's kind of the, the this is kind of what the trail's been like in the wilderness. So I got to pay attention here for a minute uh, while I do this. Uh, actually, it's it's wow, it's getting much worse. <laughs> Let me kind of give you a real feel for how nasty it is. S see that water there? You know, you don't want to step in that. So what I do is I just like look for a root and a rock and uh, do this and I, you're gonna hear it, man, if my foot hits that nasty gunk. Okay, so, um, so I had something to say here. I'm sure I did. Uh, what is it? Um, we're gonna get a good look at a Katahdin here in a little bit and, I'll, and I'll, I, will, uh, I will show that to you. Uh, and it's getting kind of dark here in the forest. Um, God, I, I knew there was something I was gonna say. Oh, I know what it is. Yesterday, I wanted to share a little, little anecdote from the trail. Uh, I was going along Rainbow Lake, and then there was this tree limb, large, like eight feet, that started moving across the trail. Now, when you've been in the, in the woods a long time, anything that's out of the ordinary, there's a certain rhythm and a feel to the trail, that you, you notice it. And uh, I was like, I mean, well, this was, this is pretty obvious. I was like, what, what the heck? And it's just moving right across the trail. And so I get up to where it is, and then I look, and there's a beaver pulling the, <laughs> this huge branch. And I don't know, does anyone ever get to see a beaver? No, you see the beaver pond, you see all the sticks, you see all the cut down trees, but you never get to see a beaver. It was a big fat ass beaver. Oh, Sue. Hope I don't lose my rating for that. But it was a big beaver with a big flat tail pulling a branch. And I, I don't know why I found that so cool, but it was, it was kind of like seeing a unicorn or something. I don't know. Uh, so I better pay attention here so I don't face plant here on my final hike. And uh, I'll, when we get a chance, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you Katahdin. Mark out.